Hi everybody, Derek Christensen here. I'm the owner of Legion Law, a, a premier estate planning and probate firm in Dallas, Texas. Today I wanted to talk to you about AI and estate planning and why I think I'm still going to have a job for at least another couple of years. So <laughs> before I dive into that, let me tell you how to reach out to me. You can find me in my email, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawplc.com, or you can go to my website, www.legionlawplc.com. So with that, let's dive right into the topic. It's kind of trending, uh, it's very popular, but ChatGPT is kind of on the radar for a lot of people. Many people have been awe-inspired and interested in estate planning and um, AI, more specifically, because they are of the impression that we simply are document pushers and all we do is just draft some documents and we're good to go. But in reality, it's a little bit different than that. <laughs> we do draft documents, and honest to goodness, if something can draft a better document than I can, more power to it. But I would argue that AI is still not gonna be able to replace my job, at least for two reasons. The first is that the current versions of AI struggle. They struggle big when it comes to making the correct decision. Now, once you make a decision, it will do it, but to make that decision, you still need to get there in the first place. So, more specifically, it can draft me a will, but does it know about probate? And if it does know about probate, how does it even remotely know how to draft a trust versus a will and have them organized with one another? Now maybe they won't get there one day, but if I very strongly need probate and I want probate, then it's not gonna know that. It's just gonna know, tell me, what do you want? And I'll say, I need a will. So that's the first thing is that it's just simply it doesn't know the background and the factual pattern that is necessary to get to the point where you do need to draft documents. Now that's to be said, I, I, it goes to my second point, which is that the current version of AI, it, it's struggling. It, it's really struggling. I've, I've actually tried it out quite a bit. I asked it to draft me a will, for instance, um, and it did. It, it drafted me a Texas will. However, if you watch my Texas, the three things you need in your will in Texas, it excluded all three of those things. <laughs> And it's a really big red flag because there was no independent executor. It was just an executor. So it leaves up open for interpretation. Is it independent versus dependent? And you can watch my videos on that. But either way, that's a very big red flag. Um, then on top of that, it didn't have a self-proving affidavit. So if I ever had my witnesses sign that document, uh, they would get dragged into court 30 years later after I died 30 years later, um, which is just a pain in the butt for everybody. And then on top of that, um, it didn't include anything about children or what to do if there's a backup or if somebody passes away before me. Uh, there, there was just nothing. It, it was like a one and a half page document whenever these wills that we are drafting are 20 pages, you know, for a good reason. So either way, I saw that and I was feeling pretty confident about it. I asked it to draft a trust and it, it straight up said, no, I won't because trusts are big legal documents. Now, I don't know why it drafted a will because a will is a legal document, but that's neither here nor there. It, w it was good to see that because at the end of the day, I'm feeling pretty confident that at least right now, things are still gonna be okay for estate planning attorneys and AI. And also I started asking it very specific legal questions. So for instance, um, if you pass away in Texas and the estate has only a little bit of money to it, not much, what is the family allowance allowed to that family if uh, I pass away and I only have $50,000 in the bank account? I asked it that and it gave me the flat out wrong answer. It said, if you have one child, then you get X number of dollars. If you have two children, then it's Y. And you know, it, like, and it gave me this formula that it just made up. It, it was mind boggling. Um, and then I look up the actual law and it's just, it's a fact by, it's a case by case factor analysis where it's, uh, we don't know, we're not gonna give a specific formula. Uh, so for it to make up a complete formula, I, I was befuddled and just totally confused. Um, additionally, I asked about, okay, what type of notices need to be sent in a specific type of probate, one of the eight forms of probate. This specific one, what type of notices need to get sent and what need to be the content of the notices? And it straight up told me, you don't need to do any notices. And that's just wrong, <laughs> and that's malpractice. If I followed that advice, I would get in a lot of trouble and so would my client. So that makes me feel a little bit better where I'm sitting there thinking, okay, um, you know, if I ask it very specific questions, I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna get the right answer or I'll get a partial answer, maybe a partial truth. AI is fantastic right now. And I, I know I've been bashing AI this entire time, but AI is actually really great at answering 10,000 foot questions. Kind of like these videos. Uh, they are great at just saying like, hey, um, 10,000 foot view, this is what the general concept is. And they're right whenever it is the general concept. But as soon as you get into further into those uh, questions, 
any specific question is going to do terrible at it, and it could very easily lead to the very wrong answer, where I'll point out the exact provision and say, this says the polar opposite, and it'll be like, oh, uh, sorry for the confusion, but you're right. <laughs> so anyways, that's, that's the first part, is that it's not very good at specifics, and it can't gather the facts and process the facts correctly like a human can, at least right now, where they're not asking me if I'm a blended family. Uh, they're not asking me if I have um, beneficiary designations on my assets already. They're not asking me if I am worried about probate. Do I understand probate? Nothing. It just says, tell me what to do and I'll do it. And if I don't know what to tell it, then the information I'm giving it is wrong in the first place. So if I tell it to draft a will, again, it will do it, but it will do it poorly. And also it won't address the issues that I don't know. So that's where an attorney like myself comes into play because we've had a lot of experience. We know the laws. We know that if you accidentally fail to mention independent administrator, then your will, you're gonna have severe issues later on. Um, but the, the AI doesn't know that, you know, and you don't know that. So you're gonna read the will and think, oh, it just says administrator, great. But the failure of that one little word, independent right there, would have screwed up everything. Uh, so only an attorney like that, at least right now, can take care of that. So I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm gonna still have a job, so that's exciting. I like my job, I really wanna keep doing it, and uh, if I can help you guys out and be a little bit better than the AI on specifics, then feel free to let me know. Um, you can email me directly, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawpllc.com, or you can go to my website where you can find the Contact Us page and schedule a free over-the-phone consultation directly onto my calendar at www.legionlawpllc.com. So with that, Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.